Okay, when you've got mixed numbers then, you've got a mixed whole numbers and fractions. The first thing that's easiest to do here is to say, what is 2 plus 1? Oh, it's 3. Okay. And then we do the 3 eighths plus 1 eighth by themselves, giving us that the denominators are the same, so they're really easy. In addition, of that stays the same number down here. And then we do 3 plus 1 equals 4 which then can be simplified by dividing both top and bottom by 4 into a half. So the answer to 2 and 3 eighths plus 1 and 3 eighths is 3 and a half. If we have it as subtraction then, well it's pretty easy when it's like this, 2 and 5 6 minus 1 and 1 6. Because 2 minus 1 is 1, 5 6 minus 1 6 is 4 6 which can be simplified to 1 and 2 thirds. But what do we do when we've got something like this? And now I'm making 1 and 5 sixths. Now, I cannot do 2 minus 1 here because I have a big fraction here. I can't take away 2 6 minus 5 6 because I'd get a negative fraction. So the easiest this fraction into a top heavy fraction. So I'm going to borrow one from this. So I'm going to have only one left over. And then I'm going to convert this one into 4, 6, 6. So 2 is the same as 1 and 6, 6. Do you agree with that? 2 is exactly the same as 1 whole and 6, 6 plus the 2 6 here. So I now have 1 whole and 8 6 on this side. Then I have my subtraction sign, 1 and 5 6. Now I can do 1 take away 1 is 0. So 1 minus 1 is 0, so I don't need to write it. And then I have 8 6 minus 5 6. Well that's easy to work out because they've both got the same denominator denominator, 666 six, six down here, um, and then we do 8 take away 5 equals 3. So that would equal 3, 6, which we know we can be simplified by dividing top and bottom by 3, giving us 1 half. So when we've got a fraction like this, where we've got a subtraction, and the second number of the fraction is bigger than the first one, we can actually borrow one from the whole number in front of the two, which is quite a useful technique to remember.